Now, they are dropping trousers and shitting all over YouTube videos and art that is very known and a huge backbone of YouTube. You hear names like Leafy, Moist Critical, Just Destiny, Toast Ken, you know, these people who review videos and what are their assholes about it or not. You still watch them. These people got like, what, a million subs? It works out for them, obviously. So I figured, how hard can it be? I can be a pretty bad person at times. So, you know, let's get right into it. I found a video, cringe compilation, link in the video down below if you don't want to hear my voice. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, I'll give you a few clues quick. What is it? Well, it's a very awesome show. It's very colorful. It's been around since the 1990s. It has some good lessons at the end of it. I'm pretty sure you all know what I'm talking about. Yes, I'm talking about Power Rangers. I'm going to show you how to be a Power Ranger today. No, not really. I'm joking. Come on, guys. You should know me better than that. No, I don't actually know you better than that. And I was actually excited to learn how to be a fucking Power Ranger. But guess what? No. No, no Power Ranger. I actually grew up with Power Rangers. Really nice show, I'll tell you that much. You know, kicking monsters' asses, you know, making a big-ass robot, you know, slicing and dicing Voltron style, except Voltron is actually better. That's my opinion. But let's, let's see what this nerd wants to freaking show us that is supposedly so much better than Power Rangers. No, I'm actually talking about My Little Pony. Well, what the fuck was I expecting? Now, I know what a lot of you are probably thinking right now. I clicked back. Alright. So, what is a brony? A brony is a word that was created by the fans of a combination of the words bro and pro pony equaling brony. This well, no shit, smartass, brody, bro, pony. Mind-blowing, really. Actually, I have a personal vendetta against bronies. Uh, fact is, let's roll back. Fourth grade, I'm in the era, you know, Pokemon cards pulled out. You know, it's a cool thing. Fucking asshole named Jacob. Steals my Pokemon cards, never gives them back, he never admits to it, I'm like, yo, I think that was my Pokemon card, so I would just call him out for it, and I'll go like, bro, it's my Pokemon card, and he would go like, no it isn't, and you know, usually I wouldn't wish, like, bad stuff on enemies, but I do hope that asshole did grow up to, like, have not the best life. Fuck you, Jacob, if you're watching this. This is normally given to them to men and teens who like the show. Their ages their ages range from about 16 to 40, or sometimes even older. Well, that was very fucking informative. Now I just found out what age creeps are. Wow. Hand clap, hand clap. Like I said, you can like what you like. I personally don't care, but the fact that you like ponies that's all about friendship and magic is pretty sus. And the fact that I haven't met a brony that is a chill dude tells you a lot. Ah, my darling. Hello there. Ugh, if that doesn't give creepy vibes, I don't know what does. Seriously, you're opening a box and you're like, Oh my darling. What the fuck is in there? A body pillow or something? I don't know. Let's check it out. Well, it's my new fedora. It's worse than I thought. It was this goddamn fedora. You know, I think these neckbeards have all their power from a fedora. I don't know where they get them from. But I gotta check it out. I personally don't think the style would fit me, but I mean, if you got that much power, I might as well wear it if I'm ever gonna have to trash talk someone, you know, pull it out of my ass and go like, haha, you know, reverse card, bitch. Uh, it's very nice and stylish, and uh, this is gonna be my new hat now. Never mind. The emoji movie flashback shirt, that was fine. What the fuck is that hat? That looks like a f fucking cowboy hat and i live in texas i see those all the time and let me tell you that's top class cowboy hat i think this guy for all the neck beardiness he has needs to go back and get his refund pay that shit back because that does not look a goddamn fedora i just felt all that power that i thought he had just like go away he doesn't have it nope but folks this has been my um unboxing video of my new fedora but the knife Wow, third video and I already owe an apology. Apologize to our old grandma. She doesn't have any power over here. She has to watch her, I don't know, I guess grandson fall into this delusional type of place. But I mean, if she's willing to record it, it must not be too bad. Could she be disappointed? Probably. But at the end of the day, she's still being somewhat supportive. Also, what the fuck? This was an unboxing video? I thought this was just some random kid getting like a Christmas present, you know, opening it late. I didn't know this was a fucking unboxing video. If you wanted to make that, you should have just like got a tripod or something. If you can obviously afford a fedora that looks like a goddamn cowboy hat, you can afford a tripod, you know, just put that shit up, you know. Don't even have to show your face. Maybe like show a camera of you having it on. I wouldn't recommend it, but it'd be there. But as always, I'm Tommy NC2010. I'm keeping you on the end. Side. Fact. Well, I'll be looking forward to your other videos, Tommy.
That's a complete lie, by the way. I decided I'm just gonna cut the remaining three of them for the hell of it. God damn, I should make fun of neckbeards as much as I do. I feel like this guy's gonna come into my goddamn bedroom, chuck my dick off, and you know, go like, haha, the milady's mine, even when I don't even have a girlfriend and I'm a complete utter loser in my world. Who knows, maybe I stoop down to these guys' level. Well, fuck, he got that freaking wombo combo. Yeah, I'm definitely getting my dick chopped off tonight. I am going to be sleeping in terrifying reality that my dick is going to be chopped off at night. It was nice knowing you. Three videos. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, right, you guys, it's your favorite fat, ugly, greasy neckbeard here today. Yeah, oh, well, I mean, at least you're growing self-aware. He knows he's fat. He knows he's ugly. And um, I'm going to answer a specific question a lot of you fucking assholes decide want to ask me all the time. And that number one question is, why don't you shave your neck beard, you fat fuck? Okay, okay, I know I ain't no game theory. I know I ain't no Matt Pat, but I have a specific theory here that that was his actual voice. I think in the beginning he was actually just covering it up, you know, making his voice sound deep and muscular and, like, not as annoying. But, you know, when he was like, oh, let's make an annoying voice, you know what, mine is annoying. Let's just make my voice out there. Well, I don't know, but that's just a theory. A uh, neckbeard theory. Let's continue. Well, first of all, the reason I don't shave my neckbeard is because I made an agreement with a certain person. Her, um, her name is Chelsea. I made an agreement with her that I would grow my beard and not cut my hair for an entire year. I've been doing it since January 1st, and I'm going to keep doing it until January 1st. Look, I'm not the most popular with the girls out there, but my man can't even go out there without saying Chelsea without skirting. He's obviously a complete utter simp. And you know, I don't think Chelsea is doing you any favors if she wants you growing that ugly ass neck beard. No offense. Actually, complete offense. That neck beard looks like the bottom of a vacuum after you just ran over a pile of shit and tried to clean it and decided to leave it there for a few months for like the shit to like, you know, crispen up. Because I'm gonna try to show a bit of a little commitment to the dare or bear, whatever you want to call it, that I made. So Instead of complaining about my fucking neckbeard, don't watch my videos, don't look at my pictures, you stupid fucking pieces of shit. I don't give a shit about your opinion, I'm just gonna sit here and keep growing this ugly ass neckbeard. Whoa, 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 calm down there, buddy. I never said shit, but if you don't want me to watch, then fair enough. I don't want to look at your ugly ass either. Like I said, class book simp. No matter what you got to say or not. Now, full disclosure, I don't want to shit on this kid too much. Obviously, we all make cringy videos as kids. This was obviously probably one of them. I do not know where this kid is or how old he is. For all I know, he probably still makes videos like this. But, you know, let's still watch. Maybe we'll get some amusement out of it. Don't fall in to the void, it's so odd. When it comes to your days, they're the mask ones. Is a failure, no evil game on. Just the villain. Of the great Yogg's cast. It's the eye of the spider. It's poison in one bite. Oh. He looks like he legit does just not want to be there. He looks like he's regretting it, but he's like, well, it's too late to turn back now. I got the green screen. I've done the edits. What, what, what am I going to do now? Now I'm an excellent fighter. Technique bioenergetics designed to help clients release memories stored in the muscles, in this case, by hitting a pillow with a tennis counting. racket. I was angry at my mother. So I started saying, Mom! 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 Well, what the fuck did Mom do to receive a beating as a pillow? God damn, she must have taken his hentai or body pillow, you know? She was like, Son, I will not let you be a creep anymore. I need you to actually be a decent human being, interact with girls, go do something with yourself. And he was like, Mom, why did you do that? You know, he obviously didn't take it well. Mom! Why did you do that to me? <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what you think you're doing, but I can actually motion this in your face if you try to grab it from the ice cream. Alright. Um, excuse me? If you're gonna try to grab it from the ice cream, I can just throw these away. I've seen this stuff before. It seems this was kind of sus. Apparently this is one of those pranks where, I don't know, they grab a drink or ice cream and shove it into the employees. Which, I don't see the point in that. Why are you gonna get an ice cream, shove it into the employees? Go like, haha, I just made a minimum wage McDonald's workers 
day even worse. Pat on the back with that cum ice cream filled hand. Let me just drive back, get that cum like substance all over my damn car, you know. Get in my house, wash it all off, keep laughing, you know. Have a little fun, you know. Let's waste a goddamn dollar on ice cream just to make someone's life a little bit more miserable. Maybe get some extra clicks while I'm at it. So you want to grab the ice cream or I'm going to throw them away? Um, no. Wait, let them throw them or give them to us and then we'll eat them. We'll eat them. We'll buy the ice creams and then we'll lick them until they're done. That was a really fucking weird way to describe eating ice cream. Yes, we'll grab the ice cream, lick them until the succulents are all over our tongues, shove them down on our throats like it's the cum I just mentioned earlier. Very fucking weird. Uh, I don't know why he would describe that, but that basically is the end of this video. Uh, I did skip some of these videos. I did skip the first one simply because I didn't really know how to critique it. The second one was an America's Got Talent clip, which could be just a whole series one in itself. I'm going to leave that for another video. But yeah, anyways, that's it for today. I'm going to try to post twice a week, obviously gaming and commentary. But like I said, I'm using a school computer, so with the school always blocking the school websites as they come out. So, not sure. I will continue the Cuphead series for anyone who was watching that. But yeah, that'd be it for today. Love you. Love yourself. Bye.